Hello everyone. If you are a data scientist, an AI engineer, or the machine learning engineer, whether you have a MacBook or you have a Windows machine, most of us have a scenario where we do have the Ubuntu based Linux or other flavor of Linux machine running in our network. Reason we have this setup because we need GPU and because the laptops or the MacBooks is not able to provide enough graphics processing unit or the GPU, we need a machine which has the physical GPU which we could access at any given time. We need this setup because we want to run several machine learning or the deep learning libraries and frameworks and those libraries are mostly compatible to run on a Linux based machine mostly with Ubuntu or the Red Hat. These deep learning libraries are TensorFlow, PyTorch, Spark even, NMXNet, Keras and many more. Some of us actually have a very complex deep learning rig built into their network which gives maximum amount of power to perform various kinds of deep learning research as well as the deep learning processing. All of these machines are connected through a local network in most cases and require a way to connect together. It means whether you are using MacBook or you are using Windows machine, you need a way to connect your Linux server which is running locally. So until now, if you would want to connect in this network scenario, your option was to use the VNC. Mostly everybody was using VNC server running in their Linux machine and then using the VNC client either on Windows or Mac and connecting to this local network. Since the launch of Ubuntu 22.04, VNC is no longer needed. Now you can actually use the RDP client on whether Mac or Windows and connect to your Linux machine just using the RDP. Means you do not need VNC of any kind, just use the RDP client on your local machine and you need to config the remote sharing or the remote desktop sharing at your Ubuntu machine and just you, you need to configure it properly so your MacBook or your laptop can connect to your Ubuntu machine with full graphics capability, full screen mirroring as well as the local resource mapping from server to your MacBook or Windows without any problem, without installing anything. Just configure it and connect. So comparative to the older one, this is the much more cleaner way to connect to your Linux machine, mostly running Ubuntu 22.04. Here I am sharing the remote desktop. Remote desktop sharing is enabled. Remote control is also enabled. If you will not enable it, it means that you can only RDP to this Linux machine, but you will not be able to work on it. So enabling these two is needed. The legacy VNC protocol unless you would want to use the VNC client. If you do not want to use it, you can disable it. It's really not needed. As you see that if in case if you would want to have the VNC, then it also enable the VNC address and here is the username and you can set up the password and making sure these two buttons are enabled and once you see this sharing is enabled, and remote desktop is on, that's all really needed and you are good to go. Now, when you would want to connect, you can have the Microsoft remote desktop installed in your Mac or Windows, set up PC name, user account, the display quality, as well as if you'd want to share resources between these two machines and, and if I would want to connect it. If the Linux machine is turned on and I already have logged into that machine, then I can access to Linux machine from my MacBook without any problem. Connect. And there you go. That's how you could connect from your local MacBook or Windows machine to your Ubuntu 22.04 base Linux machine.
and as you could see that I have Ubuntu 22.04 running with latest kernel NVIDIA Titan XP with 12 gig RAM and machine has about 92 gig RAM. So that's all I had for you in this video. I hope you have enjoyed the content and learned something new. I do appreciate your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.